So this video is going to show you how you can set up your API key so you can use Google Maps in GG Maps to allow you to get maps. So from Google Maps, you have to put them into R, then you can put data over that. Um, first of all, you've got to go to Google Cloud. Um, you will have to set up an account, um, a Google account to do this. And then you go to your console. It's worth noting that although there are charges on a Google account, um, you'll get loads of free credit for a year and also it's very unlikely you're going to go over like 1000 maps um, used and so on so um, wouldn't worry too much about that if you're just going to use it for the purposes of just basic statistical presentation but um, I'm not a lawyer and I'm not a financial advisor so if you think you're going to go over don't do it so we go to here and we go to our console So this gives us a console, it's got all the different bits and bobs that we've done. And what we'll do is, I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to, I'll call it, call it Crime Map. Create. So it takes a little second to make it. There we go, so we can select that. And then we can go to APIs and services. And we want to enable APIs and services. And then we can go to maps. We want maps static API. So it'll give us some stuff about pricing with that. So as you can see. It's one pound forty one for one K per one K requests. We can enable that. When you log on, it's very likely to be free. I've just had this on for a lot longer, but you usually get the free trial on it. So it's there, we've got static maps, credentials. You can go to create credentials. This will give you an API key. This is blurred out, so you can't use my key. Then we can copy that key. And then we can use that in R. Now we've got our API key. All we need to do is link that in with R. So R can now communicate with Google Maps and we can pull in any map that we want for our analysis so to do that we're going to need a specific package so we type install packages as usual again you only have to do this once and then the package that we want is called our studio api so our studio api so we need to install that i've already installed it on mine so i'm not going to install that again and then course when we do use it we have to pull out the library each time so I can do that now so we pull that out of the library and then the final thing we need to do so each time you want to use it you've got to register the Google key so that's a relatively straightforward procedure we just type register Google and then we type key equals and then you paste that Google key that you found into the gap there. Okay, so the Google key is going to be a very long string of letters and numbers. Um, I'm not going to obviously I can't I'm not going to share mine with everybody. It'd be some really long. Obviously not going to look quite like that. And then you just run that, and then then you have registered your API. So now you can talk to Google Maps, and then. In the subsequent tutorials, we're going to do all different things with Google Maps.